I have helmet hair. <laughs> Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another virtual campground tour. I'm actually creating two tours every time I do this now. Thanks to the Insta360 camera. If you have a VR helmet or a cell phone, you can use that to see all around. Even watch in reverse. Watch what's happened behind me. We are currently at Lockhart State Park. Waiting for cars so I can keep talking. Lockhart State Park. Right outside the beautiful little town of Lockhart. We may actually even be in the city limits of Lockhart. I don't know. This is a pretty park built back in the day by the CCC. I've got... I've got the Valkyrie. The Vituvia e-bike. And I'm on the e-bike today instead of the scooter because... We got to climb to the top of a hill and Scooter wouldn't do it. So let's gear, let me get geared up and we'll go see Lockhart State Park. All right. Hold on. All right. The Lockhart State Park, to the best of my knowledge, it's the only Texas State Park with a golf course. Now here on the right, you'll see the maintenance area. There's a very cool building over here that was built by the CCC way back in the day. That's the maintenance area for the golf course and the golf carts. Currently, golf course is offline while they work on the sprinkler system. They anticipate it being offline for the rest of the year. But you would check out your golf stuff, pay your tea fees, your green fees at the office there. Now on the right, we also have a swimming pool. It's kind of a rare thing in Texas State Parks. There's only a, a handful of Texas State Parks that actually have swimming pools. Coming into the day use area, which is actually where the original swimming pool was located. That original swimming pool was constructed by the CCC and it was down in that low area. Beautiful playground for the kiddos and a basketball court here. There's a very extensive hiking trail network throughout Lockhart State Park. There's this beautiful little stream. Well, most, most of the time it's a beautiful little stream. Right now, not so much because of drought conditions. But lots of cool old oak trees with Spanish moss. We're going to go to the top of the hill. It's a beautiful drive going up here and back down.
this e-bike, man, it gets me up to the top of this hill with no problem. You know, when I was here on my previous visit, I, I, I didn't have a scooter. All I had was Yappy's mountain bike. regretted it from the moment I drove out of the I left with that that that, that bicycle with the, the leg issues I got going on so up here at the top of the hill we have the group hall which is a CCC construct and there's also the water tower Have some bumps. All right, y'all hold on. We're gonna go down the hill. We're gonna go fast, just with gravity. loops we'll be finishing up on the full connection loop With most state parks this is just a pretty little park
Most of the sites along here are really for the smaller RV. I could probably get Trudy in that one. It's a bit hard to get level though. For sure I could get level in that one. We have a dump station here on the left. Full connection loop is set up as a, in a flower pattern, daisy wheel or whatever you want to call it. It's round. It's a circle. So we'll be making making the rounds twice because there's a couple sites that are on the outside, but most of them are here on the inside. I personally like being here at the back of the loop so that we have the golf course as our patio view. There's Miss Trudy Thunder. All right, we'll turn around and go back so you can see those other two sites. That pretty well brings us to the end. Oh, got to take off the... <laughs> All right. If you're still with me at this point, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. If you enjoyed the ride, please click on that thumbs up and blast me out across your social media platforms. That helps so much. And if you've not already, oh, and, and by the way, I do this on a frequent basis. I'm documenting as many public campgrounds, uh, at least in the state of Texas, and, and sometimes beyond. But I, if you go to dudeRV.com, second page is your campground map. You do is, it's a Google map. Pull up that. It's got layers. It's got balloons. You click on a balloon. That's a campground that I've documented. It'll open up the YouTube videos so you can get all the Dude RV information there. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, that's why I get to do what I do. Thank you so much for that. And for our patrons, we are most grateful. Thank you. I would salute, but I don't have a cover, and that's improper. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?